Okay, so I just wanted to talk about DX12 confusion as I have noticed many people having false information. Even though it has been talked already for many months, people seem to not get what really is DX12 is really all about. Many people think PC will gain the most advantage because consoles already have a low level API and PC doesn't. But this has nothing to do with what DX12 is all about. First off, as many, first off, as of today, any PC, no matter what PC you have, and even consoles with low-level API with multiple cores, only have one CPU core, and I mean only one, that can talk to the GPU at one time, no matter what software or electronic you have. This has been the case with many devices. So even though CPU has a cores, the GPU has also a cores to solve a problem. Core one of the CPU will work at 90%, and the rest of the cores will work together with core one up to 30 to 20%. And then when they figure out the problem, only core one of the CPU will send the information to the GPU. And the GPU will do the rest the same way, which isn't very efficient. Not only is DX12 a low level API, but DX12 makes all of the cores in the CPU work together effectively and send all the information to the GPU with all the cores talking to all the cores. So all eight cores in CPU will send all of the data to all of the eight cores in the GPU at the exactly same time. So now you don't have eight cores of CPU using only one core sending data to one core in the GPU to share with another seven cores in the GPU. But now with the X12 you have eight cores talking to eight cores together all at one single time all the time. Well, I hope that kind of cleared some issues and stuff and hope you enjoy the rest of this video that I have on here. And that's it. Thank you. I think we can help each other. You know these guys, right? Of course you do. One killed your brother, the other framed you for his murder. Here's the deal. I want this guy. Special Agent Coburn, he's dirty. All I need is proof. And you want this guy, Dennis Jefferson, AKA Shiv, leader of the 510 Motor Club. I'm in. You've got eight more years in here. We can wipe that slate clean, clear your name. I said I'm in. Okay, you're hereby working for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I got nothing against being on the right side of the law. There's a ride in the shop across town. I'll be in touch. I'm keeping this. <laughs> Whatever gets you stoked. We have a budget for this operation, Alex, but it's limited. I've given you enough cash to buy and set up your first ride. Spend it wisely. After that, you'll have to fund upgrades yourself. They're all available to test drive, so take them for a spin if you're unsure.